Come for the bread, stay for the politics. I'm Ben Walsh, and this is Let's Meet Bread. All right, guys, it's going to be sort of a shorter show this week because we're just making some dough. But I'm actually super excited about this recipe because I use this at home. My fiance and I use this at home all the time uh, to make our pizzas. And pizza dough is actually super unique because there's so much you can do with it. And not only that, so I'm going to, in the voiceover later, you're going to hear about some mod modifications that you can make if you're doing other things. But pizza dough as a base is great um, for monkey bread in general. Um, you can even do a sweet monkey bread with it. You just need to remove some of the seasonings. And obviously, pizza, calzone, strombolis, all of those items. But, but you could make this into rolls. Long story short, pizza dough is kind of this incredible, super flexible bread, -ish, uh, bread dough um, that you can use for a variety of purposes in a variety of ways. So it's always good to have on hand. And so actually what we're going to be doing with this recipe is we're actually just going to chuck it in the fridge because I'm going to use it in a pizza tomorrow. But if you're not going to use it in a pizza tomorrow uh, or the next day or the next day, this dough actually freezes really well. Just make sure that you put it in a plastic bag with two layers of tin foil over it just to make sure you don't get any freezer burn. And it'll keep up, it'll keep for a couple of weeks. So just make sure you're making pizza um, in that time period. To thaw, just bring it out, set it at room temperature for a couple of hours, and ta-da, you have as pizza dough as if you just made it, and it will cook up just fine. So pizza dough is super versatile and super amazing, and that's why I'm excited for making it today. That being said, let's get started. All right, guys, first things first, you're going to take one cup of our bread or all-purpose flour and put it in the bowl followed by one packet of instant yeast. That's two and a quarter teaspoons. Then next up, we're gonna put in our sugar. We have one and a half teaspoons of sugar. And after that, we're gonna put in a little bit of salt. Now I really mean a little bit, no more than half a teaspoon. Lastly, now this is optional if you're not making pizza. I'm putting in basil and garlic half a teaspoon each. We're gonna mix these together, add our liquids, and on top of that, we are going to start slowly putting in the remaining cup of flour, making sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl as you do so. You will continue to mix this together until you have a slightly tacky but not at all sticky dough that pulls away from the side. While that's going, you want to make sure that you lubricate a bowl to make sure with olive oil to make sure that you have um, a surface where it can grow and not stick to the bowl then either using your hands in the air like i'm doing or on a table you're going to make sure that your dough ball is actually in ball form as a nice taut ball before putting it in our lubricated bowl coating it all over with the oil and then once it's completely covered in oil you are going to put a lid on it and put it in a nice warm place preferably room temperature or warmer so that it can rise until it's doubled in size all right so we have made and kneaded our dough and it is rising here uh, i'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes remember you do not have to sp stick with the exact amount of time that is prescribed in the recipe. You can do longer, you can do shorter. Essentially, the only thing that's really important is that your bread dough doubles in size, okay? And this is especially important because after it rises here, it's gonna go into the fridge or the freezer for as long as you need it, right? So that rise, it's gonna be hard for it to rise again after it goes into the fridge or freezer. So make sure you get a good rise on now, okay? So I'm gonna set a, a timer for 30 minutes and then we're gonna talk some political stories. If you are sticking with us for that time, Great, don't worry about it. Um, I'll be right back. If you're not sticking with us, things are gonna be a little different this week because there's no shaping or whatever. So this is effectively the end of the episode for you. Um, so if you are uh, if you are not staying with us for the politics segment, thanks for coming. I'll see you next week. If you are staying for the politics segment, we're gonna do about 30 minutes uh, of political conversation, um, and then we'll just chuck this guy in the fridge and I'll wave you all goodbye. All right, sound good? Great, I'll be right back. All right, guys, that is the end of this week's show. Um, thank you so much for watching. We are going to have a brand new show with a brand new recipe next week. Super excited about that. If you do make something with the piece of dough, whether it's breadsticks or monkey bread or whatever it's going to be, send us a picture of it. We would love to see what you make. Enjoy this recipe. It's super easy to make. It's super easy, super easy to store. And... It's, it's one of the, kind of the coolest doughs that you can make because it really is just so versatile in a number of ways. All right, guys, see you next time. 
Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, throw a like on it, share with your friends, and subscribe for more of our content. You can also find all of our videos and clips on YouTube.com. Just search Let Them Eat Bread and you'll find all of our content. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye for now.